Let's talk a little about how to get the most out of all of the durability and toughness we build into every boss plow we make. With just a little routine inspection and maintenance, you can be sure your boss plow will give you the same rugged performance year after year. There are a few steps you'll want to take while your plow is still on your truck. First, make sure all the plow fasteners, pins, retainers, nuts and bolts are tight. You should check the recommended bolt torque chart in the owner's manual to see how much you should tighten the nuts and bolts. From time to time, check your hydraulic hoses and connections for wear and leakage. Your cutting edge and plow shoes are built to take the brunt of the load, but it's still a good idea to keep an eye on them and make sure wear isn't getting too excessive. Replacing your cutting edge and shoes when needed will save expensive repairs later. It's important to check your hydraulic fluid level regularly to make sure you have enough. By the same token, you don't want to overfill it either. Always make sure it's within the proper range. The owner's manual and the fill decal above the fill tube will guide you. If the fluid level is low, use Boss High Performance Hydraulic Fluid or a hydraulic fluid of an equivalent grade. Boss Snowplow Hydraulic Fluid will stay thin and free-flowing down to negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit, saving wear and tear on your plow pump motor when it's cold. Regularly inspect the control harness and power ground cable connectors for corrosion. You can prevent corrosion by applying dielectric grease at least once a month during the plowing season. And don't forget to grease the vertical hinge bushings on your plow. If you use your plow every day, you should do this once a week. And it's also a good idea to check your battery and solenoid connections. And make sure the bolts on your undercarriage are good and tight. Of course, we designed the Boss Plow to be as low maintenance as possible. And with a little attention now, it'll pay huge dividends in the future.